All right, a warm Sunday afternoon. Today we are going to do something very different. I was looking at this one and thinking about what I wanted to do with it. A lot of the things I've been doing is locomotion, either running, walking forward, some kind of jumping. This one, I'm just going to keep it really simple and I'm just going to have this character poking. It's something, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, and when I think about that, it's like, well, the legs and body are pretty gonna probably pretty much gonna stay in the same spot. So I'm going to take the opportunity and do some limited animation here. I haven't done this for a long time, but it's a pretty simple process, and I think uh, it should be relatively quick. I'll set an hour and a half for this one. Uh, limited animation basically means that part of the body is just gonna stay as a held cell, and parts of the body are gonna be moving. So in this case, uh, I think that I'm just going to have the arm moving. I'm going to have the face moving. Maybe just the eyes, though I think, no, I'm going to incorporate the whole face. I want to have the mouth uh, and the jawline moving as well. Uh, we'll see how it happens when I get there. Maybe I'll put the entire head on a layer. Maybe I'll move the tail. But I think for the body and that screen right arm and those two legs, I think I'm just going to have them as a held cell. And maybe the ears even. Uh, I don't want to overcomplicate this. It could get overcomplicated, but I really want to use the... Uh, powers the uh, uh, the efficiency and the advantages of limited animation to its full extent here. So yeah, it's not going to be like, wow, that's amazing animation, but it's going to serve the purpose. It's going to have some contrast with that arm moving, some uh, contrast with the facial expressions, and it'll be fun. Like I say, I haven't done this for a while, so uh, yeah, this, this, this should be probably a shorter one, but we'll uh, see how it works out. 90 minutes, that's my goal. Okay, let's get into it. Alrighty then, yeah, that was pretty uh, quick, uh, an hour and 25, that's, uh, that's, a, that's what limited animation is for. Limited animation is to get things done quickly. It's not going to look as good, it's not going to look as complex, it's, it's going to be enough to tell the story. That's, that's the whole reason uh, limited animation came about, because uh, cartoons were being done on a budget, and well, cartoons are generally done on a budget, but this was the motivation to make things simpler and simpler so that uh, we could get more done for less money. And, you know, at the cost of creativity and uh, people uh, having more input into the artwork, but necessarily, you know, maybe the project doesn't get done otherwise. So I like limited animation. It's not a bad thing. It's just uh, something that has its place. Uh, so looking at what I did here, uh, it's much more complicated than normal. Generally, I have one layer that I draw everything on, on the one layer. I do my cleanup on one layer above the uh, initial uh, rough sketch, and then I, you know, just work on one layer. But this here, I'll show all my layers. End up with a lot more layers here. I've got the eyes, I've got the fills of the eyes. Tail, fills of the tail. Body, fills of the body, fill of the body. That's just one frame you can see that holds. You can see the eyes go along and then they hold at the last one for like six frames there. Uh, and then I've got the arm uh, beneath the body. So all these layers makes, uh, it, it, it's, it's literally as if there were pieces of paper put on top of each other, or pieces of cell. You have the eyes on top, I have the tail here. Uh, the tail should actually, bump. well, I, drew, I painted it so it was in front of the body. It should be behind the body, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then the arm has to be on the bottom. It has to be behind the body. So when I over, overdrew the arm that uh, it wouldn't uh, you know, stick out. Well, here, let me show you. I'm going to hide all the fills layers. And fills, fills, and fills. And so you can see what happens here when I play through it now. And you can see I, I erased a bit of the face as well.
So everything is, and you can see I did a little bit of fixing on the uh, tail with the white there, but you can see like the, uh, the arm is completely overdrawn with the body here, and that's because that's gonna be covered with the fills. And just pretty simple, just 12 drawings with the hand going up. I've got uh, six or seven drawings with the eyes blinking and then holding, and I've just got the tail going whip, whip, two times 12 frames. So we'll turn on the fills on, let's have a look see how it all plays out. Like I say, it's all about pre-planning and then uh, back in the day you just send it off to the film lab and trust that the pre-planning all worked and that's what I'm doing here. So let's have a look. I can get instant uh, feedback. If I can make it go, there we go. All right. Yep, that does the trick. Uh, you see, because I had extra time, I mean, I didn't even take the full hour and a half, I drew the uh, hatching lines on there just to make it more interesting. But when you've only got the eyes and the tail and the arm moving, yeah, I was able to do this so much faster that I was able to have take time to put the hatching lines on there. And of course, for the body, I only have to draw the hatching lines one time. For the tail and for the arms, I had to draw them on each drawing. That's, that's pretty much all there is to say. Limited animation. It's, uh, it has its place. It's a pretty simple thing. It's pretty fun. You get, uh, you get results quickly. And uh, I don't know if I'll do any more of these for, the, you know, for my short film with the limited animation, but this was fun. I'm glad I tried this for this one time. All right. Uh, and yeah, we'll see uh, how it is next time. Maybe I'll do more of this. Maybe I'll do more smears. Maybe I'll try something different again. The um, whole point is this is pushing me to try different ways of doing it. And uh, yeah. Just coming up with lots and lots of creative solutions. That's what uh, animation is. It's all about problem solving. All right. Thanks. Take care.